So oftentimes I usually don't remember my dreams. It's very rare that I remember my dreams, but in most recent times for the past few months, I've been remembering my dreams. And I've realized that my dreams are usually a warning, a message, a sign, I would like to say from God himself, to put me on guard for something. Um, and it's so strange because more times than recently I've been praying about a lot of things and now it's like I'm having these dreams and it's so strange and I couldn't understand why. But I'll just say that, you know, dreams can come a reality and sometimes you should be careful what you pray for. I'm not saying it's a bad thing, guys, but um, be careful what you pray for because when you get in a dream or in a vision, it will come to pass. But let's get into this video and I hope you enjoy. Let's go. Hey bloomers, welcome back to my channel. Make sure you turn on your post notifications, subscribe and like and share. So I wanna get straight into this video. I don't wanna be long because I literally just came home from a funeral. Happy Monday, how are you? I hope any no one chose violence if you did. You can always start again tomorrow. I hope you didn't choose violence for the wrong reasons. But anyway, as I said before, in the previous clip, I've been remembering my dreams. And by the title of this video, you can see what I'm gonna be talking about today. If you want, if you want to read about what I'm talking about, you can go to my website at www.bloomingwithzayla.com, click on the tab that says Infant Self, and the blog post will be there. So, let me tell you about this dream. So, in my dream, like I said, I remember this vaguely because this dream was so weird to me. I was just like, what in the hell is happening? Anyway, so in the dream, I'm like in this field. Follow me in the spirit. I'm in this field, and in this field, it's like... It's dark, but it's blood red, literally. Like the clouds are red, everything around me is red. I'm alone, I'm by myself, and I'm just walking in this field. And then all of a sudden, I see arrows, I see bullets. I can't see, there are people, there are persons in my dream, but I can't see their faces. I don't know why, but I couldn't see their faces. And I'm like, okay. This dream is creepy. Like I can hear myself thinking, okay, what the hell is this dream about? And I'm trying to like, me being my retarded self, be trying to test the waters to see what's gonna happen. So bullets are flying in the air, arrows are flying in the air. I'm actually watching people get hit with bullets, arrows and all that stuff. And I decide, okay, let me see if I could get hit with a bullet. I'll get hit with a knife for the swords. Just think of war scenes in like uh, Game of Thrones and Spartacus and um, oh, it's another show. Uh, other war shows, y'all know, like Spartacus and all that. If y'all haven't watched Spartacus, that is a good show to watch on Netflix. Anyway, so I'm walking in the field. And I'm trying to see if I'm going to get hit with a bullet or get hit with an arrow, but I'm not. And then I look on the ground and you know what's on the ground. The ground is red with red liquid stuff and that's basically blood. And then boom, I wake up from my dream. And I'm just like, um, where, where dream? But I didn't know like what the dream meant. But the reality of it was the dream is actually from a prayer that I've been praying. And the reality of it is um, I started to see things for what they are started to see persons for who they really are, started to see situations for what they really are, um, started to notice, you know, <laughs> people have been disappearing, like kind of like walking out, not necessarily walking out my life, but I've become distant. I've noticed that, okay, that plane sound like the engine just shut down in, in the sky. Oh my God. Anyway, yeah, y'all. So I, I'm recording. You heard that, right? Me too. Mommy, I just said that in my video. That was creepy. I don't want to hear no bang. <laughs> I, 
Yeah, I ain't hear nothing. I ain't see no. Yes, I said I'm going. <laughs> I'm recording a video, man. Guys, that's my mom. She's not gonna come in this video, so don't ask for her to be a, make a guest appearance. But uh, like I said, there was a, a plane literally just fl flew over and that didn't sound right. So God be with that pilot and that plane. I hope everything's okay. But anyway, so the reality of it is, um, yeah, I started seeing people for who they are, what they are. I started cutting people off. Um, I just realized that like, you know, uh, people trying to block my blessings and stuff and I want to say like in the dream that was kind of God saying whatever is going to happen or whatever weapons are going to form against you they're not going to prosper like you're not going to get hit because remember in the dream I literally tried to walk in front of a bullet I wasn't trying to kill myself I promise I literally tried to walk in front of a bullet I tried to walk in front of an arrow in the stream and nothing would happen to me um so, like I said, the meaning of this dream, I guess, and yes, I had to write notes because this dream was so, like, vivid and so creepy. Like, I had to write my notes down. So, one of the things I realized was, like, like I said, no weapon formed against me shall prosper, especially from these uncircumcised Philistines. Because people be trying me sometimes, and I'm trying not to choose violence, but, you know, it is what it is. Um, and, you know, like they say, touch not God's anointed. Don't touch me, don't send no attacks for me because you're gonna get dealt with. And I know the kind of person I am. I know the prayers that I pray. Y'all ever hear about praying at the midnight hour? Yeah, I used to do that. So, <laughs> so yeah, I think that's what our dream was about. And I think that was kind of like a reassurance from God himself saying, listen, I got you. Don't worry about no one. Just like in my previous blog, um, my letter might say so stay focused stay in your lane and i'm kind of like just focus on yourself focus on you it's kind of like that like just have like tunnel vision don't worry about no one god got you no weapons are gonna form that good stuff um so that's basically the real the meaning of my dream and then i thought of a bible verse that says the lord shall cause your enemies who rise up against you to be defeated before you they will come out against you one way and will flee before you Flee before you seven ways. I can't remember how to pronounce this. Jernokami chapter 28 verse 7. <laughs> um, the message of my dream is basically the devil is busy. And I'm thankful for my, I'm thankful for my enemies. And bloomers, you should be thankful for your enemies as well because they are going to be your footstool they are going to be the ones who actually i feel like they draw you closer to god especially when someone's really testing you and i don't know i don't want people to think that oh my dream is to, if this dream does not resonate or you can't relate to it don't try to make my dream connect with yours we have different dreams i feel like it's very important to pay attention to your dreams especially if you're someone like me who does not remember their dreams I've come to the realization that when I do have dreams and I actually can remember my dreams, it's a warning, it's a sign, it's a message, or it's confirmation. Um, don't use violence, <laughs> is I guess what my dream is also trying to say to me. I want to say, you know, dreams do come become a reality. Reality be can become your dream. Um, like I said, this dream was very creepy. If you want to read the full detail of this dream, you can actually, like I say, you can head over to my website at www.bloomzalia.com. Click on the tab that says Infant Self. You can read about it. But honestly, this dream creeped me out. And I'm sure that this dream has, like I said, this dream has already manifested itself. Whether it's me pulling back from persons. Um, I try to keep my circle small. I've been making my circle even smaller because my trust has like gone out the window for plenty of people. <laughs> anyway, um, but yeah, I, I, I am sure this dream is still manifesting itself as we speak. I think just about every other week, every other day, I have a realization about something. And you know, if you are someone who has a good relationship with God, 
he will always have you in the palm, literally in the palm of his hands. He's got you covered. There's no need to worry. When you know you are a person who has a good relationship with God, I feel like that's most important because nothing can happen. And even if a weapon was to form against you, like it says, it won't prosper. Now that doesn't mean that, oh, nothing will ever happen to you. Some things have to happen for you to learn lessons so you don't repeat the same mistakes. Um, so yeah, I've had a lot of lessons learned. I've had mistakes repeated. And then God would throw another, you know, to see, like, let me slap on the back of her neck with my sandal to see if she learned her lesson yet. So, um, yeah, that was my dream. I've had several other dreams since that dream that made me realize, okay, my prayers have been answered. So this is why I say, be careful what you pray for and be careful what you ask for because the tongue is a powerful thing. When you speak life into certain things, things tend to happen. And I know some of y'all are like, what should you be praying about? If you don't have an idea, the idea basically of my prayer was, God, either show me my enemies or just get rid of them. Show me who's really for me. Show me who's really there, there for me. Show me who's playing me. Show me who's serious. These mosquitoes are trying to attack me in my beautiful black dress. I don't know why, including this wasp, but anyway. Um, <laughs> so yeah. I've been praying for things like that because this world is getting crazy. People are cruel. People are, in the words of my mother, they're not wicked, they're wicked. I think she'd say it would be wicked. So yeah, I just wanna come on here quick, share my dream with you guys. I hope you have an amazing day. Have a great day. Enjoy your, the rest of your week. Do not choose violence. Um, and I will see you all in my next video. Bye guys. Mwah.